Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert your images for your WordPress website to WebP. Now, we're gonna be using a plugin called the EWWW Image Optimizer to do this, and I probably don't even have to say this because you already know how important it is to serve WebP images from your WordPress website. It is, um, WebP itself is a compression algorithm developed by Google that does a fantastic job of compressing images way better than PNGs and all the other image formats out there. Um, and, and basically the reason you wanna do that is because the amount of data being transferred from your server to your client will be reduced even further. And that equates to quicker loading pages, which is good for everybody. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so we're gonna be working with my serial blog here. It's called Serial Guru. And the first thing I wanna show you is if uh, in Google Chrome, you can go to view developer, developer tools. And if you're in the network tab and you have um, the assets filtered by image, uh, if we refresh the page here, you can see that these images are being served as PNG images right now. And just to prove that we're looking at the, the same thing, this is that image right there. And it's a PNG. And if we add up all the sizes of all these images, we're looking at 3.7 megabytes just in images being sent from the server to the client. So that's a big chunk. Let's see if we can get that down, reduce that by compressing our images. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you before we actually start is my PageSpeed Insight Score here, which is a 65 for Serial Guru, just the homepage. And if we go down here, you'll see that the biggest and by far the biggest opportunity for time savings is to serve your images in next gen format, uh, which one of those next gen formats is WebP, which is the, the one that's developed by Google, the compression algorithm that's developed by Google for images. So let's see if we can get a better score than 65 and then let's see if we can transfer uh, less than 3.7 megabytes in images. All right. so. On your WordPress website, go into your admin dashboard and in the plugin section, if you don't already have it, install the EWWW image optimizer. I already have it installed. So when you're done with that, um, we can come in here and click on settings. And the first thing you're gonna want is, um, well, first let me show you. If you go to the WebP tab here, it says that WebP conversion requires an API key or subscription. The subscription is like $5, $10 per month, something like that. They take care of optimizing all the images for you, kind of set it and forget it kind of thing. Um, but the API key, um, the other option is to just buy some credits to convert images on an image by image basis. And that works out to be like a fraction of a cent for each image or something like that. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today, the, the a la carte option. So you need that API key to, to get started. And I have one here and I'm just gonna paste that in here and then save the changes. And the API key, which is uh, just the basic free trial API key, gives me 300 free credits. So if we go back over to WebP tab here, we now have options to, uh, to convert all of our images to WebP image format. So the, the, what you wanna start out with here is just clicking the checkbox here for WebP conversion. So check that checkbox, hit save changes, and then we're, Good to go with settings for now. Um, you'll see up here, new images uploaded to the media library will be optimized automatically. If you have existing images, which I do, and you probably do too, you will like to optimize and you would like to optimize, you can use the bulk optimize tool. So we're gonna click on the bulk optimize tool. And here, um, this is the bulk optimize tool. Like I said, I have 300 image credits. Um, and we can scan for unoptimized images and basically, for each image on your website, they're gonna create seven different sizes, like a high resolution size, that's WebP, a smaller size, smaller size, all the way down to like a, a thumbnail, kind of very small size for your images. Um, and it appears that they, we only need to do 12 images on my website, so that's great. So let's go ahead and optimize those 12 images. And this should take um, some amount of time. When it's finished, I'll come back and let you know how long it took. All right, so we're done with that. It took uh, not too long actually for me because I didn't have that many images to convert, um, maybe up to a minute or so. Uh, there's one other step that we have to do in order to enable WebP image conversion that I forgot about. So if we go back into our plugins, installed plugins, the EWWW image optimizer, and on that WebP tab, we have to go down here to the bottom 
and um, without getting too technical, we have to insert these rewrite will rewrite rules, which basically says if you you can kind of see it in the code here. Anytime you see a JPEG, PNG, or GIF image, you want to see if we can try to serve it as a WebP image if that file exists. Otherwise, we can revert back to the original file format. Uh, so we have to insert those rewrite rules into there and that was successful so we're good to go let's go ahead and save changes just in case and now we can come back down here and those rules are gone because they are already in our ht access file so let's go back to our website serial guru and we're going to look at uh, again view developer developer tools we are still filtering by image so let's refresh the page and now we see that all of our images are being served in W or as W, I keep saying WEBP, WebP format. Um, and now we're serving a total of 2.8 megabytes instead of 3.7. So that's, what is that? Let's open up a calculator here. Uh, 2.8 divided by 3.7. So we reduced our bandwidth just for images by 25% uh, just by doing that. So that's um, that's going to, like I said, that equates to a faster loading page because that's a whole extra megabyte that your user doesn't have to download every time they come to this specific page. So let's go back to PageSpeed Insights and reanalyze our website for uh, what Google considers it to be now that we have implemented WebP image formats on our website. We still get a 65, which is okay, because there's a lot of different, a lot of work that we can um, still improve here. But if we go down here, we'll see now that we don't see that suggestion anymore. And if we look at our past audits, we'll see that our images are now, uh, while well, they're properly sized, and let's see if we can find it in here, next gen. Next gen, there it is. Serve images in next gen format. We got the green light for that, we did it. Um, that's pretty much what we set out to do. Guys, if you have any questions about serving your images in WebP image format on your WordPress website, um, or specifically something about the eWWW image optimizer, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos like this as far as optimizing your WordPress website. And if you do subscribe, I'll see you in the next one.